If you've ever been to a party where they're serving all sorts of appetizers, you may have noticed that no matter what else they're serving, it's usually the bite-sized hot dogs wrapped in pastry or swimming in a sweet and sour sauce that are the first to go. Let me show you a new way to make these. That's always a hit. We start by cutting a good-sized hot dog into two-inch pieces. I think using bigger dogs makes these taste so much better. We wrap each piece with a slice of bacon that we've cut in half and place it seam side down on a rim baking sheet. After all of them are wrapped, we sprinkle each one with a bit of brown sugar and into the oven they go. While they bake, I like to whip up a dipping sauce for them by blending a good amount of yellow mustard with some cherries, a bit of honey, and a little bit of cherry juice. If you want, you could even wrap the dogs ahead of time and bake them off right before you're ready to serve them. When you put these out with the dipping sauce, they'll be the first thing to disappear. Between the smokiness of the bacon, the juiciness of the hot dog, and the sweetness from the brown sugar, you can't miss. So here's what I suggest. Head over to our website and get the recipe for what we call dogs and hogs. You won't be disappointed. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a doggone good way for you to say, ooh, it's so good.